For much of the 19th and 20th centuries, the city of Chicago was the industrial capital of America. It's easy for the modern Chicagoan to forget that the city is still home to a number of industries, like meatpacking, steel, and concrete. Industry put Chicago on the map. And even though industrial output has declined from what it once was, the negative effects of industrial waste can still be found in Chicago today, in a place that should concern all of us, our water. Pollution has been a problem in Chicago from its very beginning. Ever since the first settlers decided to make their home on the North Branch, people have dumped their waste into the river. In the 1890s, the city was forced to embark on a massive engineering project to reverse the flow of the river in order to keep waste out of Lake Michigan. Over 100 years later, the Chicago River continues to be one of our most abused resources. Bubbles of methane gas still rise from the depths of the South Branch, a long-lasting effect of the slaughterhouses which once lined its banks. Along the North Branch, heavy metals can be found in the water, as well as other harmful byproducts of industry. The Chicago River is far from a lost cause, though. There are organizations that fight for the river. Since 1979, the Friends of the Chicago River organization has made it their mission to protect, preserve, and foster the vitality of the Chicago River for the communities of animals, plants, and humans that enjoy the river and its watershed. The Chicago Freshwater Project team at Chicago Line Cruises is also trying to raise awareness about the severity of the pollution in the Chicago River. Chicago was built along the river. It has been the center of the city since its beginning. It is our responsibility to take care of the resource that made Chicago the city that we know it as today.